All right, children, just do want, want to do a quick uh, cryptocurrency weekend video because Bitcoin is a dumping. Uh, yesterday, Bitcoin was actually holding up pretty well as the stock market dumped 800 points. Bitcoin was hovering around 29, 29.5, 20, uh, uh, almost at $30,000, but that did not hold. And we have basically had a delayed dump and we are now down to 28.3, um, $27,000 incoming. Very, very possible for me. Here's what I think. I think there's very strong support at $25,000. That was our bottom when Terra Luna and the whole UST thing collapsed. Um, I think we're gonna. It's a very good possibility we're gonna get a retest of that twenty that twenty five thousand. I think it was like the mid twenty five thousands. Um, if that happens, you know you're gonna get some really good deal on altcoins. The one thing I'm noticing is um, a lot of these altcoins that you would expect to hold up really haven't. Like Ethereum, Ethereum's already down to fifteen thousand, or excuse me, one thousand five hundred. Um, if Bitcoin drops down to twenty five thousand, you're probably gonna see a twelve hundred to a thousand dollar Ethereum. Uh, that's pretty low. I mean, that's a lot of people were talking a couple months ago how great Ethereum was holding up. It's not holding up, folks. None of the altcoins hold up. The only the only altcoin that has been holding up is Cardano because of the hard fork. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cardano hanging out about fifty five cents. Keep in mind, folks, when Bitcoin was at twenty eight thousand dollars, twenty seven thousand dollars last month, Cardano was down to like forty four cents. Because of this hard fork, Cardano is one of the best performing top 20 altcoins. That's why I was telling everybody, if you're going to buy anything, buy Cardano. It's going to outperform Bitcoin. It's going to outperform anything because of the hard fork. And it's a good project. But I'm a realist. I know it's because of the hard fork. So for me, I did sell uh, my, my uh, Cardano bag that I had on KuCoin at about $0.64. Cents, but I still have a very, very long-term hodl bag of Cardano that I'm just looking to get cheaper. And... Um, 55 cents is not cheaper. My last low buy for Cardano was 38 cents. So I would say below 38 cents is where I'd be looking to get um, Cardano. And I don't think that's going to be coming anytime in the next few weeks. Could be wrong, but for me, I think worst case scenario this weekend is we hit the low 27,000s and we bounce up from there. Um, maybe you see like a $1,400 Ethereum. Maybe you see like a $225 uh, BNB. Uh, Solana, I always said Solana under $25, I'd probably pick some up. And I always said Litecoin at under uh, $50, I'd pick some up. Litecoin's pretty much there. I'm seriously considering putting some money into Litecoin this weekend. Um, Litecoin's going to bounce hard. Like I said, Litecoin's not my favorite project. It won't have the best ROI, but I do, I do expect Litecoin to bounce hard with Bitcoin when we get a rebound. Other than that, folks, there's really nothing else to really speak of. You know, the stock market dumped. All the markets are dumping. We also got Bitcoin dumping. Um, Cardano has been holding up the best because of the hard fork. That's why I've been telling everybody just put money in Cardano. It's outperformed everything. So if you listen to me, and not to toot my own horn, but if you've just been buying Cardano for the last couple months, um, you're actually, you might be up. Because the average, the, average bot, the average range that Cardano was hanging out in was about 45 to 44 cents. It hung out there for like a month. Um, and that's where I made a lot of my YouTube videos telling people to pick some up. So, well, actually you also had a, a range between 53 and 54 cents. So we're almost back down at that. So you have to make a decision right now. If you bought Cardano at 54 cents last week or last month, do you want to get out now and hope for lower prices or do you just want to hold on tight and hope for a pump? I mean, the one thing you have to understand if Bitcoin, um, shoots back up to $30,000 unexpectedly this weekend, Cardano is going to show up to 70 cents. It's going to rebound super hard. So for me, it's not worth selling any Cardano at this point. I'm just looking to buy it at cheaper prices. I don't think I'm going to get Cardano um, below 38 cents this weekend or anytime soon, at least till after the hard fork. So what else could I buy on this list? <sighs> Probably just Litecoin. AVAX is under $20 now. I mean, maybe some AVAX. I'm not a big fan of AVAX, but wow, that's low. So this is very scary for AVAX holders right here. Um, if we see a Bitcoin under $25,000, or even if it goes under $20,000, you're going to see AVAX in the single digits. I mean, to me, that that's a complete failure of a coin. Um, will AVAX even be able to recover past that? I don't know. But um, you have to understand, folks, a lot of these altcoins are not going to survive. Um, I have to pull up the chart on AVAX and see... Uh, Actually, I'm gonna pull up the hold on. A second. I'm gonna pull up the chart on AVAX. I want to check something out here. I want to see if AVAX was around the last bull market. 
All right, folks. Yeah, I just pulled up the AVAX chart. AVAX is a newer is a newer project. It did not survive the last bear market. It wasn't around. So if you're holding AVAX right now, I always say you want to. If you're holding a coin, you want to hold something that survived multiple bear markets, because it might not it might not have it in it to survive a bear market. Um, AVAX was trading around uh, three dollars in 2020. It could easily go back to that. And if we hit a, have a massive, massive uh, bear market, which it looks like we probably will have, there's no guarantee AVAX will survive. So I'd probably be looking for AVAX under, under $10. Um, it just doesn't have the history. Like I said, you want to find a coin that has survived the bear market. That's why I like Cardano. It survived multiple bear markets. Theta survived multiple bear markets. In fact, Theta came out of the last bear market, one of the biggest contenders. It actually led before Bitcoin um, going into the bull run. So yeah, folks. Yeah, just you got to have a come to Jesus, a come to Jesus moment this weekend. And we all hold shit coins. I hold plenty of shit coin metaverse coins right now on KuCoin that I fully expect to do horribly, and they are doing horribly, but not a lot. It's not a big part of my portfolio. But if you're holding giant, giant, you know, a giant part of your portfolio is in coins that are only one or two years old and have only seen bull markets and coins that just haven't been performing all that well, you might want to look into maybe getting out of that and going into Cardano or putting them into Theta. Um, even Solana, you know, Solana is a coin I believe wasn't around the last bear market either. So these are all newer projects. That's why I want to, I just, you have to remember folks, they're the new shiny object. That's why they're on the top 10, top 20. The new shiny object rarely is on the top 10, top 20, the next bull market. They, oh, the, the, this top 10 and top 20 will not be the same top 10 in two years when we go into a bull market. You have to seriously ask yourself, what's going to be on this list? Will it be Solana? I don't think so. Will it be AVAX? I don't think so. It's possible, but I don't think so. So probably BNB, if I had to guess, probably BNB, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, maybe Matic. And I think Theta is going to be on the top 10 as well. Theta actually was on the top 10, top 15 last bull market. Anyway, folks, have your come to Jesus moment this weekend. Realize if you've been in Cardano, you're doing better than everybody else right now because Cardano has been doing really, really well because of this hard fork. And you just have to make that decision in your head. Do you want to sell your Cardano right now and hope for lower prices? Or do you think we're going to recover this weekend and Cardano will go right back up to 65 cents? For me, I already took my profits on KuCoin from my trading Cardano. I'm just looking for lower prices. Um, this dump right now is 100% stock market related. It's just delayed. If, if stock futures are higher tomorrow night, you're going to see Bitcoin shoot right up to $30,000. If stocks crash on Monday, Bitcoin's going to go down to $26,000. That's just how it is. You have, to, you have to have money on the side. You can't ready to go and make sure you're comfortable with, with what you have in the market. If you, if you lose another 30, 40% of what you have in the market right now, will it send you to the mental hospital? If it does, you need to take some off the table. For me, I'm in a good, posi I'm in a good position. I know where I am. I'm looking to buy lower, and my Cardano is still far higher than um, most of the buys I've made over the last couple months. So I'm doing okay, and you should be doing okay too. Just um, use some common sense, and we'll see what happens tomorrow night with stock futures.